Hi, this is Annette Sullivan from Lavender Thoughts. Today I'm going to show you a old technique called stained mosaic. You can see I have used it on this rose from Graceful Garden and on some designer paper here. So the first thing you need to do is to get some of the old red rubber from your edges of your old stamps and just cut it up into small pieces and stick it on a block and that's the basis for our stamp. Okay, so I have stamped another one of the Graceful Garden Roses and this time I've coloured it in Daffodil Delight and old olive alcohol markers. <coughs> Excuse me. So the next thing we're going to do is to get some Versamark ink. And make sure that our mosaic stamp is well and truly covered. And we're just going to put our image over there and just take a piece of scrap paper, put it over the top and give it a good rub to get a good definition on there. Now you can do it the other way where you just put your cardstock on the table and put your stamp over it, but for this particular one I like to do it this way. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to take that off and you probably can't see too well there that it's inked up. <coughs> Excuse me again, just a bit croaky. It's very windy and wet outside at the moment, so I thought I'd take a chance while there was a break in the rain to, to do this card. So we're just going to use clear embossing powder. And I always make sure that it gets a good coating. I'm not sure how well you can see it all on there. So I'm just going to put that aside for a minute. Our embossing powder back in here. Okay, and then I have done another one from the Merry Patterns Christmas set. And again, there's lots of Versamark on here. We'll do this one sideways. Just pop that on there. <coughs> okay. So again, probably a little bit difficult to see. So I'll just Again, clear embossing powder on this one. Now once you put the embossing powder on, it is okay to leave it for a little while before you heat emboss it. Um, the Versamark is extremely sticky, so that gives you a little bit of extra time uh, before you need to heat set it. Now you can probably see it a little bit more on this one because of the dark colours in the candles. You can see the embossing powder on there. Get rid of our excess. And now we're just going to heat emboss it. So just excuse the noise for a minute while we do this. Okay, so you can see that's lovely and shiny there now. So I'll just put that aside to cool while we do the candles. Let's find a place where there's no embossing powder that I can hang on to. OK, 
Okay, so that's the first part of our magic, is doing the heat embossing. See, I've missed a couple of bits there that aren't quite heated. Okay. So it's a good idea to let them cool down for a minute or two before we do our next step. And our next step is to ink it all up. I'm just going to get some old scrap paper for that. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take your stamp pad and run it straight across the image. Now for this one I'm using Smoky Slate, which is a nice water-based dye ink. And all we're going to do is just rub it across like this. And I'll just get myself a paper towel to hang on to. And you can see that the ink is picking up where there's no embossing powder. So in other words, the gaps between those little pieces of stamp rubber. When you think you've got it all done, just pick up a piece of paper towel. and just polish it up. And you can see we're getting a beautiful image there. So I'll just run it across through the rows again. Just to make sure we got down into all those grooves. Again on the other end. That's looking pretty good now. Okay. So you look like you're looking into a stained glass window. Looking through at the rose. So now we'll do it with our candles. And again we'll just use the smoky slate ink. tricky when you've got the small pieces. You can do it on a larger piece and then just die cut it when you're finished if you want. I just thought for the purposes of this it might be easier if I had it already die cut. a little bit more. So when you get your new stamps and they're the red rubber stamps and you've got all those pieces around the outside of the actual images and you're just normally going to throw it in the bin, hang on to some of them and they come in very useful to allow you to do techniques like this. I've just used an old piece of wood and stuck them on there or you could get an acrylic block whatever suits you. Now to put these cards together, I've just got a whisper white card here and I have stamped it in the smoky slate stamped off with a background image, put some of the colour theory designer paper, I'm going to put a piece of daffodil delight, I'm going to put that on there and add a sentiment and that will be the finished card which you'll be able to see on my blog and the link to that post will be under this video. And for the candles one, I have got a piece of Always Artichoke cardstock, some white, Whisper White cardstock 
and some of the very, uh, sorry, fresh fig designer paper and some of the silver metallic edge ribbon. And again, I'm just going to put that here and the Merry Christmas there. And that will be another finished card again on my blog. So just go back to the two that I have actually finished. We've got this one here, which I've done in Cherry Cobbler and Old Olive. And you can see you've got a nice shiny gloss through there. And this one is some designer paper. And I'll have the name of that designer paper. And we've just coloured all these images in with alcohol markers. Oh, sorry, not the candles. The candles is actually stamped with fresh fig. But these other three are all coloured in with, with the alcohol markers. So you can see that. Thanks very much for watching this wonderful little technique with me. Please give it a try and let me know what you think of it. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like this post and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.